Hello, it's Jesse here again. Um, we're going to be talking about spot lap accessory on uh, Springer front fork type models. Um, here's a nice set of uh, reproduction guide spot lamps. Um, look them over here. Nice chrome ones. They're um, they're really good reproductions. They actually have the guide emblem on it, so they must have been able to license it. They have uh, Made in USA guide stamped in the bottom there. Really nice and clear. Um, yeah, these are uh, these were an accessory for the SH-S-H2 was an accessory spot lamp for the Harley Davidson Springer models from 38 to 57. Um, the Harley Davidson new part number 1136638. Um, wasn't quite short in here, but um, that's it right there. It shows the um, different part number here, of course, because it's got this bracket and stuff on it. Um, a lot of stuff going on here. We're going to talk about that. So stay tuned here. Let's start off with saying that uh, these will fit any 36 to 37 models, models also. But this type didn't come out to 1938. It says truly exceptional licensed product through guide. Um, they're 6 volt like the originals were. Um, yeah. So they like I was saying the toggle switch back here. Um, this is the right shape and everything. Um, you just turn them off and on with that switch right there. Um, each each lamp gets its own toggle switch. That way you could turn them individually on individually, which was is, which was kind of nice. Uh, not everybody wanted to have wanted to have them both on at the same time and. A lot of people did or whatever. Um, that, that allowed you to have do whatever you wanted. Um, yeah, the shells are accurate shape and design compared to the original ones. Um, I had original ones, but uh, they were kind of rusty. And I, when I came across this set, it was a no-brainer to buy the set. I could have tried restoring them and chrome plating and stuff, but I. Uh, it's kind of a spendy set. It's about three hundred bucks or so to get one of these sets. Um, but it really ain't much um, compared to what you can spend money on for reproduc reproductions and uh, restoring bikes. So anyway, from what I can tell, all the parts are interchangeable. Um, we got the uh, the rivets that hold this on. We have uh, on the bottom here. We have a correct slotted screw. The the um. Holds this bezel on. It does have the 49 style light inside here in socket, um, which you know it didn't come out till 49, according to this, because we have the 49 type have the, the 49 type lamp right here. It's got the little locking screws on here, and then the earlier one here has the um, a bayonet style. It would go in and twist, and then you'd be done. Um, what the deal was is <laughs> the earlier one they would like fall out or they wouldn't they would go out they wouldn't stay in or on all the time so then they improvised this little mechanism here into the socket with little little locking pieces on it we could turn it in and lock it in so it wouldn't pop out hitting bumps and stuff because there's a lot of stuff going on in that springer front end it bounces like crazy um you got and the roads back in the, in the 30s and 40s, um, there wasn't very much pavement out there yet. So you were running down a, a road. It was pretty much just a wide gravel road back then. And the front end would bounce, throwing rocks, all kinds of stuff going on. Um, yeah, it wasn't until like the later 40s and 50s when the war was over where we started getting nice highways across the country here. So... And, and pavement and stuff but um, that's a whole different story down the road someday maybe <laughs> but uh yeah that's why a lot of these bikes um 
lethalized just because all that dirt and stuff just would get into places and you would, the oil would that would kind of somewhat leak out or whatever it would keep that from being a kind of a mess um, the dirt the dirt would like I don't know, stick to it and stuff and make it look grimy but um, you, you don't want dirt on your metal parts because it causes wear and damage so anyway enough of that getting off track so these are spot lamps like I said we're used from 38 this is a model 38 because of the focus screws in the back here that didn't come out until 438 um, so Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, these lamps, of course, have the guide information stamped on the bottom like I showed you. They have the correct focus screws I was talking about. Um, just like the original. This was a nice feature also. This allowed the rider to actually adjust the field of view in and out. Focus of the light of that the lamp actually projected. Um, yeah, so what would happen here, it would actually draw you turn it one way and you could push the light out and then you turn it the other direction you pull the light in and then depending on how the light is in there it would actually uh, change the field of view i think i explained that well um that's an option of course which is it on the bikes today um they're all just mounted and that's how it is kind of a deal <laughs> Uh, this is a very, like I said, this is a very nice set. Um, I would, I would suggest if you want spotlights on your, on your bike, this is the set you would look for. You wouldn't find, try to buy them cheaper sets because and save a little bit more money, but these are the right ones. They look identical to the original ones, um, in every way. The grommet. I mean, cause look at here, we got, we got the grommet. We got a focus screw in the back here. The bucket and the perches are right. Um. The lens, the lens is, is a clear lens like it was back then. You could, um, cop bikes would have a blue and a red one. Um, that's kind of why there's different lenses here on this, on this, in this, uh, print right here. Um, some of them had this, uh, lines and stuff. Um, but, and there's the smooth one. And you can get them, like I said, different colors. I think you can get them in blue, red, and I don't think there was any other color other than clear. I don't think there was amber and stuff, but until later or whatever um so i just want to put this accessory this accessory kit on my on my 40 uh when i get going with it so right now i'm kind of just like wanting to mount the hardware on the bottom of it you know kind of like this so it can go onto the bracket um i'll talk about brackets here in a minute but for this first part here just want to go do an overview of the of this set here and uh yeah Explain how nice it is, how accurate it is. So, yeah, stay tuned here. We're going to work on this a little bit here. Okay, here we're back. Um, I got the remaining pieces of a colony hardware kit. This kit is designed to rebuild the guide headlamps, or the guide spot lamps, I should say. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, anyway, this is a repair kit 2568-24. I had to get two kits because one kit services one spot lamp. So uh, this is awesome another awesome reproduction kit again. It's got the machined uh, bolts here, the cadmium plated, um, the, the uh, swivels here, which is accurately correct. Let's see, we see here. Swivel bolt, 
and this bolt here is accurately the right length and stuff and uh, yeah accurately machined our nuts are also correct of course here we have the built-in washer again like I've talked about before and nice cadmium plated washers here and then the fiber washers and they all go together there somehow so <laughs> we're gonna work on that here um, here's what a correct bracket from 1935 to 19 or 1938 to 1945 looks like um, it gets these pieces here bolted on here and this part goes behind the headlamp bracket um, according to all the archive pictures that I've came across and original bikes and stuff that's all this is all held together with with uh, parkerized bolts and I'm just gonna leave it loose here but I'm gonna kind of put it all together here just so the brackets assembled this mounts onto the the rigid fork because we don't want the headlights don't bounce the lights the lamps don't go bouncing around in the spring fork so um, they mount onto the part that attaches to the frame the, which is the rigid fork they call it right here um, yeah kind of what it looks like there this is a uh, real parkerized bolts machines type they don't have the the CP stamped in it or the 1035 or nothing like that <clears throat> so and these brackets were all black um, they I don't think they were originally ever were chrome because uh, just how they were because these were mainly used on bikes during the, the war year four years I should say from about 42 to 45 they were like this um, and then 38 39 and 40 got this also because they changed it see uh, what I mean is is I've seen a lot of bikes that were had the, um, the wrong stuff on there and I've seen bikes with the right stuff and Spot lamps are accessory, so I really can't nitpick on this subject because I decided I don't like to nitpick at other people's bikes anyway. So I'm not going to do that stuff because I don't want that done to me, and I just don't want to do that to them. So, and I'm a, I'm, whatever. I, I can take being nitpicked, but I'm going to be as accurate as I can, and it is what it is. But this is what I'm going to have to say. This is a 38 through 45 bracket. Um, there was an earlier bracket that actually mounted on the head on the um, handlebars and that's this one right here Okay, so we have a, like a tube here And then this part here mounts to the one side of the handlebar the other side of the handlebar This was about looks like part number here tells me it was 1926 right here uh, We'll do a segment on part numbers here coming up, but um first off. I'll just go over this overview real quick this uh printout is from an, a later book when they went to the new the new style part number here which again I'll talk about later but they don't show this bracket in here so this tells me that this is a, like out of a 46 book or something because it has the 46 style mount right here right here right here it is that's 46 Mounts the same way. It goes into the spring fork, but then this tube is round. This bracket was mainly used from 1946 to 57. So it kind of depends on when you bought you bought your parts because you'd get the better part the year you bought your bike or you bought the Spotlight Spot Lamp kit. Um, this shows these clamps on here, which either you can mount to your handlebar. Directly, or you can use this clamp, this, this uh, bracket over here. So that was like 36, 37, 38. 
Then in 38, this bracket came out. And this is the correct one. This should be used for period bikes from 38 to, with these style 38 spot lamps to 38 to, to 45 bikes. Um, so, yeah, just kind of like that. What they would do was they would, they use these clamps yet in 46 and put it all together like that because you could get them that way individually or set, whatever, until they changed the spot lamp in the 60s. And, um, yeah, so then you'd mount it on here. Hold, hold, went the round, with this round tube. But for my particular build here, I'm going to do the 38, 39, 40 style. We don't put them clamps on because there's not, they're not needed. They, uh, the bolt goes right through here this hole and tightens down with the swivels right like this pretty much so my main goal here is just to put these uh, put these on uh, attach these on here so when I go to set these on here I had less tinkering around to do I can just pop them on there tighten them down and go when I'm building this thing I'm not in a hurry to build it it's just that I like building stuff in sub assemblies like I've said before now these brackets over here these brackets, of course, have the 49 part number on it. So, 1949 Hydroglide front end came out. Totally different front end compared to the Springer front end. Uh, we had uh, Hydroglide. Um, hence the name, Hydra. So it was like liquid um, shock absorbing glide. So, yeah. Nice front end, too, when it came out. Nice upgrade to the spring fork. A lot more comfortable, quieter, and so on. But, uh, yeah, it's a different story someday, maybe. So, so in closing here, I guess I'm kind of just going to show you the, talk about this. I just want to clear this up. So, 1936, par partially to 1938, to the end of, like, partially somewhere in 38. Spot lamps got mounted to, on the handlebar bracket with the C-clamps I showed you there. These ones right here, C-clamps. Which put the spot lamp above the headlamp, you know. So then, starting in 38 sometime to 45, spot lamps were mounted on this bracket. I'll call this the flat steel type bracket because, of course, it's flat, flat, not a flat steel piece here, painted. So, and then I got pivot, the pivot studs, like what I talked about. And which put the lights, the spot lamps, next to the right, ne right across from the, from the headlamp. Then in forty-six to fifty-seven, I got this style bracket. Got that style bracket, which mounted on a chrome tube, which is you can see there. It's a tube. It's chrome plated. Yeah, they're all chrome plated. I don't think there's any black ones. And it was the C clamps. Um, they put it, put the, you know, because the main mounted there, it was able to mount right next to the headlamp as well. Then, of course, like I said, the bracket changed again when the front end changed in 49 to the Hydroglide. But the lamps would mount with all this same equipment, other than these guys, you see clamps, right on the perches right there. So... Hope you enjoyed this and hope they cleared up a little bit because um, this kind of stuff was hard to find out on my own. Um, there wasn't really a lot, a whole lot of books I could find that had a lot of this information. Just kind of had to research pictures and stuff. And well, that's why I did the documentation on this here with this video, um, just so make it so I can remember, see it later down the road, or help other people out when they're rebuilding maybe their old bikes if they have old bikes like that. So. Um, I'm gonna just put these uh, swivels on this here and show you the end result here in a minute. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Okay, so here we are. We're just finishing it up here. Of course, I'm gonna leave this stuff loose so I can make all the final adjustments down the road when I put it on the bike. But according to the print, that's how it is set up to be put together. We have the bolt flat washer, swivel bolt, the fiber washer, 
and a nut and then a locking nut or just a nut that jams into it a jam nut we'll call it it's what the term is really a jam nut so like it said here you get the the bolt and then we got a washer swivel bolt fiber washer no it's a fiber washer because it's a different part number than this one and then washers are used here and here again the cadmium ones and then we have a nut and we have the nut jamming it tight so when we have this all positioned properly of course we tighten this all the way across on this nut here and then we lock it with this jam nut here and uh, of course we put the machined the machined washer surface here up against the item so I'm just finishing this one up here with the machine and washer part up against the, the perch there and then just so we can reference that that these two where the parts all go I'll just leave them on there like that and then we will uh, okay like the flat washer it's a stamped out washer it's got a curved edge you see it right there the focus ever works there we go that curved edge and it has the sharp squared off edge so this washer the sharper edge goes towards the item to be mounted to it's like on our bracket here it'll mount like the, sh the curved edge will be up can't see that the curved edge will be up and then the squared off edge will be at the bottom and that's the opposite for the bottom end so the square edge goes up to the top and then it all gets sandwiched together like that so that way I know it's all set up right I'm going to put the washers on here just like that curved up edge on top and then a sharp edge towards the center. I'm not going to mount it to the bracket yet because I want to put the bracket on first and then then I put these on. Machined edge nut goes up Like that machine edge. Now I remember that stuff. I mean, I kind of remember anyway, but just let me see. And then I run it all the way, run it on there, and then I'll, I'll thread this one on there too. So I got it like that. So, anyway, that's kind of the wrap here on this. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, little segment on these uh, old spot lamps like that. And um, until next time, we'll be working on something cool again. Um, like always here so um yeah so see you next time and uh hope you enjoyed this again and thanks for watching see you later